For thousands of years, aloe vera has been considered a magical medicinal plant. Even the Aztecs used it as a miracle drug to treat many diseases. Traditional medicine appreciates its detoxification, purging, acid neutralization and fat reduction. According to modern research, it has a positive effect on blood sugar levels and blood lipid concentration, including cholesterol levels. But aloe vera is not always aloe vera. Real aloe vera, the aloe barbadensis, is a desert lily and is cultivated in arid regions, primarily in Central and South America. The effects of aloe vera are strongly dependent upon how it is processed, and the differences already begin with how it is harvested. In order to avoid damaging the plant, the leaves should ideally be cut by hand. As the outer skin of the leaf contains poisonous aloin, a substance that protects the plant from animals and has a laxative effect on humans, the skin must be carefully separated from the inner leaf gel. This leaf gel is the most valuable part of the aloe vera plant. The gel has been proven to contain over 150 vital substances, such as vitamins, enzymes, polysaccharides and trace elements. It's this unique combination of ingredients and the way in which they interact with each other that results in the healing effect. One of the most important plant substances is asimanan, which has a positive effect on the immune system and can also reduce inflammations and free radicals. The result, the oxygen supply improves. Let's take a closer look at this fact. Blood is supplied with oxygen in the lungs and then transports it via the blood vessels into the cells. The large blood vessels branch out, becoming smaller and smaller, until they turn into tiny capillaries. Capillaries, by the way, are the smallest blood vessels. This is where the oxygen passes over from the blood vessels into the cells. Poor eating habits, environmental pollution, stress and increased physical effort weaken our immune system. Free radicals have an easier time of things and can cause microinflammations throughout the body. These inflammations can damage blood vessels and result in a thickening of the fine capillary walls. This swelling constricts the flow of blood, slowing down the blood cells on their way through the capillaries, which as a result impedes the oxygen supply. And it's here that the aloe vera acts. It reduces the swelling on the capillary walls. The blood cells can flow faster again and the oxygen supply is improved. Furthermore, toxins and impurities are removed more quickly. The latest studies have revealed that other natural substances can improve the effects of aloe vera even further. These substances primarily include silicon, but they also include evening primrose and alkaline minerals. But first let's look at silicon a bit more closely. For our body, silicon is life essential and a structure building element. We already know it as quartz sand as it occurs in stones and cement. In the body, silicon is there to stabilize our human tissue. As a supportive element, it strengthens bones, hair, nails, connective tissues and also the walls of our capillaries. As we grow older, the capillary walls have a tendency to lose their form and resilience. They can literally collapse, interrupting the blood flow. At the worst, this can lead to a stroke or a heart attack. Silicon strengthens and supports the capillary walls, thereby keeping the bloodstream open. As a result, the erythrocytes can now supply the cells with oxygen more efficiently. Silicon in its original form as quartz sand cannot be absorbed at all by the human body. Alternatives can however be found in nature. An ideal plant-based source is the stinging nettle. It is rich in natural silicon which can be better absorbed by humans. Optimum oxygen supply is not only dependent on the capillaries but also on the condition of the blood itself. Only when blood is liquid enough can it pass through the narrow capillaries. For improving flow properties of blood, we have evening primrose with its polyunsaturated fatty acids and basic alkaline minerals. Polyunsaturated fatty acids make the blood thinner. 
They prevent the conglutination or sticking together of blood cells and thereby stop clotting of the blood. Alkaline minerals support the elasticity of the red blood cells, thus helping them to pass through the tiny capillaries more smoothly. Both help to increase the blood's rate of flow and thus contribute to maintaining an optimum oxygen supply. So let's review the main points again. The supply of oxygen to our cells is a vital prerequisite for our overall health and also helps to safeguard us against serious illnesses. Aloe vera, with its decongestant effect, improves the oxygen supply. Silicon strengthens the vessel walls and keeps the bloodstream open. Reinforcement comes from evening primrose and basic alkaline minerals. What traditional medicine has known for a long time has now also been confirmed by modern research. Aloe vera improves your oxygen supply and therefore your general health. Because oxygen means life. Place your trust in Aloe Vera. <laughs>